What's popping up, Dr. Green Thumb, aka B Real, and we are in the smoke box right about now, presented by B Real TV with our special guest, Mr. Capone. What's yeah, cracking, dog? Yeah, what's up, homeboy? Been, you know how we do it. Yeah, we've been talking about, you know, making this happen for a minute. So, yeah, welcome yeah. to the box. Hey, thank you, homeboy. It's a pleasure with the OG of the smokes. Yeah, you know, like th throughout the time we've been we've been doing the box, you know people ask for certain people you know yeah. what i'm saying like fans in the comments you know whether it be ig facebook youtube and yeah. your name came up a lot you Man, know what i'm saying no, that's and, that's, and, and, and yeah. i believe that's because you know a lot of cats out here got love and respect for for your grind yeah man that's what's up man we've been doing it for a while though yeah, yeah. How, how does it feel like to to have put these many years and, and and still you know still get the love from people like that and it's, it's a blessing doggy because you know we were out there on the streets you know doing nothing just getting in trouble as youngsters knuckleheads and uh to have something positive and actually have some kind of dreams and goals was a blessing you know what i'm saying because uh you know when you're in the hood you ain't got too many dreams yeah and then when this music came and elevated me to another level of just keep going and just never gave up just yeah. kept moving and just blessings now we're flying overseas we're seeing you know seeing everything that we never seen before you know well you know what what's crazy is that that hip-hop hit a, a a certain group of kids like like ourselves yeah. that like you know there's always there's always different options out there to to to, to go right and uh sports is always one of them yeah. but if sports ain't there music is there definitely man and I remember as a kid, man, I was like, I was a good little athlete and just running and shit, and they were like trying to sc sc scout me for the Olympics. But they go, you gotta keep your grades going, and you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, 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 I hear that. So the music, man, there's no grades, there's no, it's no application of your, how qualified you are, it's just, you you know, you know your surroundings, you make music that people love, entertainment, and hey, that came as a blessing. It's what's inside you, pretty much, and, and the talent that you got to, you know, pretty much put that shit out there. Definitely, man, and it's, 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 it's been good. Good all the way through. Well, what, what was some of the shit you were listening to that, that was like your your influences? Back in the days, well, back in the days, man, I remember when I was a little kid, I used to watch the UMT raps. Yeah. And obviously when, uh, what's his name, Freddie Fred, I forgot his name, but he introduced NWA. That was something that really got me cracking. Yeah. And then when I remember seeing Cypress Hill, How to Kill a Man, I think oh. that was your first one, right? Yeah. yeah. hit like on MTV, I was like, damn, it's, there's a hope, there's an opening, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, there's, there's, the, there's the guy, he's representing us, you know? Yeah, exactly. That was it, bro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he said, I didn't kill, just kill him, man. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it's a trip, though, because, you know, like, before that, like, they, you know, there wasn't really an avenue for any of that shit. They nah, would shut it down. And exactly. Some, you know, for some reason, they opened that shit up. But it, it was cool because it, I think it what it is is it, it, it showed people a, a different different, side, different yeah. aspect and perspective of life. Nah, definitely, man. <laughs> that shit, I, I just remember that like yesterday. I'm just thinking back. Those those, those were good times. Just seeing the video of you guys like walking up a hill, and then all other shit, you know, just start blowing up. I remember with even Latin lingo because they used a lot of cholos in the yeah. video. Yeah. And I remember watching that. I was like, shit's hard, you know. So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, it, it's it's. When you're an artist, you're just you're trying to portray the shit you you've lived yeah. and been through and, and the shit you've seen Definitely. growing up and shit like that. Mm -hmm. And I know that's 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 some shit that you've done in your music throughout. Yeah, no, for real, man. That's that's how you know it just happened to be where we got you know we had a chance. We always messed around in the hood and the neighborhoods in the backyard, boogies, just fucking around and rapping. But then when that shit came to reality, I mean, that shit was like, okay, we, we created, almost like you said, a new lane in our own lane. Right. And then the lane that we created influenced a lot of people to start doing independent or you don't need a label to get behind you. You can do it. If you're from the streets, people will respect it. Yeah. And then from there, I, I seen after I came out, like so many people had the same style, stilo, but to me that was a blessing because yeah. it's like, hey, it shows opportunity. I just influence a lot of people to try to do music. That's know? what it's about. You know, yeah. when you can influence others to like, or, or inspire, yeah. you know, influence and, and, and inspire others to like, do some shit, you Man, know what I'm saying? Definitely. Get out there and, you know, do something different. Legendary shit, I remember, yeah. I mean, 
Is that's, that the point where like you you had to decide where it's gonna be more than just fucking around and rapping and you know it's a, it's a function? Definitely, like, man. I mean, you saw people were following. Shit. It. I mean, right when I got into music, I like it was like a turning point in my life when I got out of jail. And then I'm like, what am I gonna do? I was trying to get jobs, and you know, ain't nobody trying to give a guy who looks gangster yeah. a job, you know? That's yeah, it's a hard yeah. gig to try to get any yeah, any definitely. gig at all. And the best thing happened was uh, lighter shade of brown. I I met OEM, and I went to his place, and that's where I all started from my first studio recordings. He had a studio. He said, go ahead and bust it. I would come and bring bitches over there, like girls, to party, you know? <laughs> so he was like, okay, I'm welcoming this guy because he's bringing the girls. Right. But my intentions were like, I want to get on that microphone. Learning, yeah. you know, absorbing the shit. And eventually, it took time, but I got in, dropped the first record. It was actually on his compilation, and it just blew up from there. And when I seen that, I was like, I can do this. And they made open. the fucking lane. Yeah. I mean, because I've been Shots watching, out. you know, fucking just... Constantly making movement through yeah. the dark. And I still feel like I got a lot of ways to go. I mean, I've done the streets underground, but now, like, where I'm at in my time now, I'm trying to make it to the next level. And I've I'm, I'm been messing with Kevin Gates. Nice. I got a record with him and a video. So, see, 2019, man. See, that's that shit right there. You know, the, the out of the box, like, willing to do something yeah, different, different mm. you know, as an artist. Because, I mean, that's... You know that that that's progression, man. That's 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 an artist evolving, getting out of your yeah. comfort zone, and doing something Definitely. different. Definitely, that's out of left field. Like yeah. I'm like, I, I never really thought that collab right there. That's, yeah, that's, that sounds dope. That's dope. Yeah, man. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to do whatever you know is is getting out the box. I'm trying to build bridges and take the elevation of the movement and of our whole you know society culture to another level. Because you know you go out, out the world and people love that yeah you know that local stuff you know what i'm saying like yeah that, i'm pretty sure you see it and i see it and i'm like we just need to get it out there more and hip-hop is you know at the end of the day it's a business and there's big companies that decide what's really popping but if you can keep knocking the doors down there's a possibility you know what i'm saying absolutely yeah absolutely it, it, so what what is what uh what is your wish list of of like if artists and, and producers you could you could fuck with and make an album or an EP mm. with, who, who would that be? Damn, let me see, uh, shoot. At, as a new generation time, it's a little bit different, so obviously one of them was Kevin Gates, which I did. Right. I want to take, you know, obviously we need to get one with Cypress Hill, be real. All day. Or, you know, bring that, <laughs> that, you know, OG plus the new stuff, or whatever, I'm Work. not that new, but you know, we make no, it new. We make it new shit. Yeah, and then, um, and just a lot of producers. I like Mustard on the beat because he always has that YG feel. I like yeah. that YG feel too. He's got fire ass beats yeah. for sure. So I definitely like to do that. And um, I'm talking to French Montana and them, and they're trying to put me on a record with Chris Brown and yeah. see how that goes. So if that happens, that would be fucking yeah. big for you, bro. Yeah. That would be awesome right Shouts there. Shouts out to Zach. Because that's bro. another one yeah. that no one, you know, would think is coming. And that's why I know I need to go. I need to take it to that plateau where we can just knock the doors down instead of just being in our comfort zone like you said you know right yeah i think that's important man you know for every artist to break through to something different you know because sometimes we get wrapped up in the shit we do so much that you know we just keep doing it and we don't see maybe the other aspects that we can hit from but when you when you do take those chances yeah. and they fucking work definitely man it's just about evolving you know we gotta evolve yeah. and man uh glad you got a platform like this to you know talk about evolving and keep it moving because we need strong models like you to keep it cracking you know thank you my bro yeah hell yeah, yeah definitely man what, what what's you know how do you feel about like i mean shit you you you've been in cali you're from cali yeah you've seen the fucking weed culture evolve oh, here man. like you know how you know <laughs> as a californian yeah, like myself yeah. right you know, what do you think of, of everything going on right now, what it's evolved into? Man, it's just, it's crazy. I will say, man, I kind of fucked up because I was so focused on the music. and was like, oh, this weed thing is popping, everything is, I was like, yeah, it's cool, cool, but, you know, whatever. Now I see how it's so, so ahead of the game, I kind of feel like, damn, I should have been in when people were telling me. But hey, I'm just—it's more recreation for me. Yeah. You know, I'm just smoking it. But True it's that. the culture, though, man. Like how it's just part of life now. You know. Yeah, it's, it's become a, a, yeah. a whole new. Got embraced. An industry yeah. for real. 
You know, before it was all like under, uh, you know, underneath exactly, this yeah. shit. But. That's what I remember. I still be paranoid if I see I have a pound or something, a large amount on me. I'm like, am I going down, you know? But I, I never crazy. ask anybody this, but what's your favorite old school strain? Old school strain. I mean, I like the OG stuff, so yeah. I, mean, I don't. That's um, pretty yeah, old school yeah, though yeah, now. Yeah, it's You know, yeah. with the, with, with the. But you're talking about the old back. Yeah, the, the, yeah, before OG. Oh, fuck. I mean, you know, we just had the fucking the shit weed, you know? So I, don't, <laughs> <laughs> I can't even call what was my best. I mean, the chronic was fucking. Yeah. Everyone was talking about the chronic. But, you know, back in the days, we didn't even know. We're just smoking. Right. It could have been some yeah, fake I mean, chronic. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, you know, there was like. A, when you when you found some good endo, they were in the little fucking nickel yeah, bags for like twenty dollars. Exactly, you could see the thing, you could see it, roll it up. It was, you know, you could open, smell it. Yeah, and then the, the booth was in like a big ass bag, you know, for yeah. cheap. You know that 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 was something we all had to painfully endure back oh, in the day. Yeah. We don't got to deal with that <laughs> yeah. shit no more. Nah, that shit's a fucking. You can eat it. You can eat a cookie and you got the cannabis feel now you know yeah it's i mean crazy. it's all over like you uh, it's tr it's a trip because when you travel now yeah like you could you know if you got homies in certain places that they, they fucking know where the good weed is at yeah. now it's crazy hey, la is gonna take over Amsterdam. Right? oh yeah we did that yeah. i mean yeah we're gonna have our own shots it's gonna be crazy california period yeah. we, like north oh, uh, yeah. north south yeah. fucking central everywhere like in cali you know, and I, a lot of people hate when I say it, but it's the real shit. Cause like I've been everywhere and I've best tried shit. everybody's yeah. best. You know, Cali's nobody's gonna bring me booth somewhere. Sometimes they do, yeah. because that's what they think is the best, right? Yeah. But like, Cali has the best, man. We're like in the south, we got the best indoor growers. In the north, we got the best outdoor yeah. growers. In central, they're like a combination of both. And a little bit of different style. Yeah, together, and, no, and nobody can fuck with the flavors that we got out here in California. It's that Cali shit, yeah. though. <laughs> Colorado's dope. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They're not, not taking nothing away from yeah. Colorado. Not taking nothing away from Canada. Because yeah. if you go to Canada, that's there's what, fire. Vancouver side? Shh, Vancouver. Yeah, that's what you already it. know. <laughs> you know, but Cali, it's it's special down here. You know what I'm saying? No, there's definitely. no place like home. There's no place like home. Can't beat that Cali shit. I'll click my heels three times anywhere and like wish I'm in Cali, dog. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Word up, man. So, what's what's the main thing you're working on right now? So, working on my new album, doggy. Um, it's uh, with the one with Kevin Gates. Uh, trying to connect some of the best. I mean, hopefully, I can even get you on this album and um, oh, all day, man. It's just that's the new one. This is the project that I've really been waiting for, and that's why I'm on the grind now. I'm back to really get that cracking, and that's the plan. Man. So he did this whole thing with you? Yeah, well, I did a record and, and, and a song with him, but my production, one of my boys in the back, Clumsy Beats. He's he's I picked him up from the streets. He he's producing some of my records. And, uh, just different producers in general, so I'm yeah. just trying to get with whoever's the best, you know. Just vibing out yeah, the best yeah, ones, right? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I like when they've been meaning a lighter for like the last ten minutes. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like I'm just like, <laughs> this joint, I've, been, I've been watching him look at his joint like it's gonna <laughs> magically <laughs> turn on. I <laughs> like, <laughs> like I feel bad. I was like, I know what that's like. I thought you guys, were, I you guys were out there. I finished like mine, but I'm just like, yo, clumsy has been looking at his yeah. joint like, would it turn on, please? <laughs> <laughs> Word up, man. And. Uh, I know you said it earlier, your favorite strain is, yeah. is OG, right? Yeah, OG, yeah, I gotta stick to OG. But you know what, I mean, cookies, I like cookies too, man. Yeah, I mean, cookies is good. Yeah, yeah, so I'm not gonna hate put nothing down over nothing, but I, you know, it's OG. It's really yeah, gonna... word up, man. Fuck, you, you, do, you do, in a, you, do you do any of the dab shit? Nah, man, I'll tell you the truth, I ain't gonna lie, man. I, I ain't on that super crazy getting dabbed out. Have you tried it? Actually, it did once, and you know it was cool. But I'm like too heavy, right? Yeah, I'm like it's you heavy. Know, yeah, I, you know. If you if you're trying to function, that shit. Yeah, is, exactly. Unless you got mad tolerance, that's some shit you gotta be doing every day, all it's day. Like, yeah, you can't to, sleep shit. Yeah, yeah, and I can't do that. <laughs> Fuck that shit. That shit gets rough. So I mean, I mean, I don't know. You you have your moments you want to do it, but I don't want to just dabbing out like some people are just like i'm gonna get dabbed i was like yeah yeah you know I, like i'm selective I'll, there'll be times i, I want to take a dab and then i'll just leave it alone for a month or yeah. two and shit like that yeah, and everybody will be it. trying to get my dabs like hey man why don't you break open some that's of your me, um <laughs> <that's just kinda laughs> like, like i'll be like hey man that's right. you're up. not smoking it <laughs> word up man mr capone yeah, man thank man. you for coming to the box that's homie. right i gotta say one thing before you go man I remember this, I had to keep it off my chest, which is a good thing. 
but I was like 16, 17 years old, and I was like, you were, you were performing, and I jumped the fence, and I was like, you know, that's when I first started rapping. I was like, hey, what's cracking, homie? I rap. Oh, you probably don't even remember San Bernardino somewhere, and I could tell you, like, who's this crazy-ass gang member <laughs> rolling up, right? And then you gave me that number, like, hit, hit me up. And the next day I called, I was like, man, gave me the wrong motherfucking number. <laughs> but I know it's cracking. Hey, I understand that when you're a kid, and it's to all the kids out there, man, when you see the artists, they got so much shit going on. Because now I realize, like, damn, you know, it's like it, it all came back. Like, I understand that shit. But, yeah, that's yeah. a story I wanted to share. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, shit happens, man. Hey, yeah. fuck with my man, Mr. Capone. Be real. You know what I'm saying? Leave comments, subscribe to the channel, and uh, you make sure you check that album when it comes out, because, you know, I'm going to be on it. Yeah. With it. You know what I'm West saying? Coast. West Coast. West Coast. We back. That's what's up. <laughs> oh. Word up. Stay blazing. Got the heart of a lion. Soul of a titan. Mind of a genius. Fly with the height. All your senses are senseless. Resistant, relentless. Let's get this. They say I'm psycho. I move weight like lipo. Got a big crib like Michael. Out the window with a rifle. My wrist game on light show. I'm backstage with white hoes. I got pre rolls in that red cup. That's key line. Don't like those.